welcome to my very last Hero Chronicles from last summer. I hope you enjoyed watching these as much as I adored making them. Lots of fun stuff ahead. Arriving in Paris with Mila for our final few days in France was such a full circle moment. Coming back to the city I started my Euro trip in truly tied the knot on such an incredible journey. My first time traveling abroad with friends, then solo, then with Mila. Our last days in Paris were my absolute favorite. I attended my first fashion show ever, ate the most incredible food, and discovered my favorite museum of all time over the course of five days. I can't wait to shower. We trained up to Paris on this lovely morning and arrived in the afternoon. We stayed in the second arrondissement, which is the loveliest area, and grabbed a bite at Wild in the Moon after showering and resting for a bit. We got their vegan banh mi sandwiches and I tried their matcha, which was sweetened with dates, I believe. We ate in the Jardin des Tuileries, our favorite park for self-explanatory reasons. Hanging out here is the most soothing experience. It's lively, but simultaneously calm and peaceful. I love me a bug. sat around the fountain and took in the afternoon's last strong sun rays before walking down the Champs-Élysées for a bit. Anytime it smells like ASS, Gucci Flora. Drink beauty. It's what I need right you now. You definitely need that. The close space. I'm about to go to my fitting. So freaking nervous all of a sudden. I don't know what I'm wearing. Me when I see. Bought this off Depop. Bought these in X. Okay. I'm off. That was the first time for everything. I'm nervy, but it's gonna be fun. That evening, I went to my Zadzig fitting for my show the next day. We altered a green dress I wore with tall cowboy boots. This outfit was so out of my comfort zone, but it was so fun to get dressed differently, and I ended up feeling so good in it. All our days in Paris generally started off pretty late. We'd wake up around 10, 30, 11 because we'd be so tired from all the things we would do during the previous day. On this day, we got ready and made our way towards Chirou, this Franco-Parisian restaurant where we had the feast of our lifetimes. The restaurant had high ceilings, big windows, and classical music playing, which created such a relaxing and classy ambiance. The cuisine is Franco-Japanese and that fusion was reflected in the design of the place. We started off with the best cocktail I have ever had by a landslide. It was matcha based, need I say more. Mila got a porn star martini, which is a passion fruit cocktail, and this one came with the champagne as a shot. The drinks just started this meal on the right foot. Wow, 10 on 10. This is the porn star, and this is the shivel. No, this is the. <laughs> We got the omakase, which was so fun because we never knew what was going to come out next. We started with the ceviche that came in a glass bowl and was topped with flowers. It had a bitter topping of passion fruit balls. I didn't love, but the fish was exquisite. Then the salmon tartare came out steaming, which was so cool. It was light despite being coated in a creamy sauce, and the salmon was so fresh. <laughs> Third course was fish crudo for me, beef crudo for Mila. This was my favorite course. I love raw fish. Mm. Then 
I got some other small fish dish with peanut sauce, which was once again absolutely phenomenal. I died and went to heaven during this meal. And they presented me with the most beautiful filet of fish while Mila got meat of some sort. The fish melted in my mouth. It was so perfectly prepared. For dessert, they brought out this blackberry-based concoction coated in frozen yogurt and cookie crumble. If you know me, you know fruits plus any dish is scary, but I engulfed this. It was so freaking good. It showed me that going outside your comfort zone with food can be so rewarding. We then had some little gummies and marshmallows come out with our espressos to top the meal. Off. I really recommend this spot for a special occasion. It was so incredible. Day after day. Stuffed to the brim, we walked around the 8th and around La Rue des Arts, peeking into galleries and posing as buyers. It was so fun. Galleries are like free museums. You get to discover more contemporary or underground artists in. There are some true gems to be found. We're back at the hotel. We walked around in this area. There was one street called La Rue des Arts, I believe. Close to Café de Flore, close to when we went for lunch, which was the best lunch experience ever. It was so fun. But yeah, I went into a bunch of art galleries and just looked around and we took this catalog and I picked up some little postcards from a bunch of the galleries we went to because there was so much art that I loved. It gets me so excited to look at art galleries. I'm like thinking about decorating my house. It's just really fun. Yesterday, I didn't film anything at the fitting because I got scared. I was like kind of intimidated, but it was really fun to like get to try on stuff. I was, I think, the last person they did a fitting with, unless they're doing fittings today, but that would surprise me. Actually, I, I wouldn't know. I'm still waiting for them to send me my outfit, so I'll show you when I get it, but it's really out of my comfort zone, so I'm excited, but also scared. I'm gonna really need to adopt a confident vibe tonight. I also got these earrings from them. I'm excited. Now we're just like chilling for a bit. I'm waiting for my stuff to arrive so I can start getting ready. Oh, also, as I'm leaving this fitting, I'm in the elevator, the doors open, and standing in front of me is Mary-Kate Olsen, and she walks into the elevator to make eye contact, and I just like smile so awkwardly. That was like one of my first celebrity encounters ever. I don't think I've ever met a celebrity. Have we met a celebrity before, Mila? Oh, I only feel so Mrs. Celebrity. I've never had an encounter with a celebrity yeah. on the street. So imagine me walking out of my first fitting ever of my life, which is already so surreal, and then bumping into an Olsen twin. But they're just like anybody else. I know. Like I don't really get crazy when I see a celebrity, <laughs> but it was still kind of cool. I got my invite in the mail for tonight's show. So I'm going to open it with Eva Melush. This is a really flattering angle for me. Dreta out to the chin. Okay, I'm keeping this. This is going in my journal. Sick. It's so like thick. Dear Eva. So cool. Back home, I got ready for the Zadzig and Voltaire show. Just got the goods. Let's show you what we've got going. We're wearing these long boots, but I'm gonna scrunch them down. I just flashed my boob like 17 times in that video. This is the dress. They altered it a bit for me last night. Okay, now I'm gonna put my hair up because I'm sweating bullets. Hype up. We're about to head out. What are we doing? This dress. Oh, I know. on the show. So beautiful. I love the, the suit. There was this one pinstripe kind of suit to die for. So many cool people. I know. Actually, ah! you know who I'm starstruck at? Who? Suki Waterhouse. Sam. And Oriane Carlotta. So awesome. She's like my idol. That is so fun to watch. Time, Time was... to muck. Off to dinner. No. JFAP. Hair is up because I'm 
Everything from tuna tartare to niçoise salad to yellowtail ponzu tataki to the most exquisite desserts. I had a field day at the dining table. Thank you, Zadzige Barta, for including me in such a lovely evening. Out of 10. 8 out of 10. Okay. It's a lot. 11. 11? Wow, you're hard, hard, Josh. Oh, you're in the chamber with the air clean, but we're dead. There's no air clean. There's no air clean. These need to be on. I feel like death right now. I this is like one of the worst hangovers I've had in a really long time. I look insane. This dress is so cute though from Aritzia. Aritzia girl. Um, I don't know. We're going to go eat. Ten more. Fucking krazu kraz. A philanthropist. What's a philanthropist? A charity worker. Maybe. I am a charity. Oh gosh. Fabo, Fashu, et si tu as journée pour dire ça. Température record. Il va faire ressentir 46 degrés. Et ce que je dis à Eva, nous à Montréal, on fait du moins 40, mais pas du 46. We're too northern for this shit. If you were to lick my sweat right now, you would probably get drunk. Mila was also making a pretty analogy. We are like fruit and compost in the summer. Deteriorating. Deadass. I feel so nauseous. I could die. I'm dying. I feel like sweat is the theme of the day. Though. Yeah, and I'm wearing a white dress, so pray for me. The next morning was brutal, to say the least. Not only was I morbidly hungover, but it was also the hottest day of the year, with Paris setting a new record of June temperatures. I was dying. Mila and I walked 30 minutes to Les Parisiennes the morning after my big night out in Paris and I almost passed out in the street. As soon as we got there, we ordered iced coffees, which helped cool us down a bit. We got burrata to share as an appetizer. It came with pesto and cherry tomatoes and was honestly the best burrata I had had in a hot minute. So creamy and the pesto was chef's kiss. Then I got a salad with avocado, edamame, carrots, tomatoes, and you guessed it, a big dollop of burrata on top. Safe to say I had my fix of dairy for the week and then some. I am in heaven. Mila got a peanut tie salad with prawns, mushrooms, vermicelli, and edamame. For dessert, we got lemon sorbet and caramel ice cream, which were divine. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. You're done! No, I don't think so. We're getting Starbucks. I need, I'm like, fuck it, I'm dying. So, <gasps> matcha latte with so soja. could not function properly after this meal. I was stuffed, sweaty, and feeling so ill. I had to go lie down at the hotel. Mila and I ended up grabbing some iced matchas a little bit later and hanging out at the Jardin des Tuileries again, where we journaled and loafed it for a few hours. Au Jardin des Tuileries. I'm just gonna journal a little bit. Mila and I are writing and hanging out. The matcha was so refreshing. I feel like so much better. This weather has been really difficult to deal with today. I've just been sweating and I feel sick, but the matcha helped. And this is like the best environment, it's so peaceful. And, like, beautiful. We're gonna do a little journaling. I'm gonna write about last night and write down highlights from the night. It was such a fun night, so I want to talk about it in my journal, obviously. Yeah, I think that tonight we're just gonna go get some sandwiches or something and eat at the hotel. So that's our plan. I'm taking it easy. It's eight o'clock and we're chilling. And then tomorrow we're gonna have a bigger day because we're just like so out of it. Last night was a dream. I like I actually can't believe that I got to experience that. Thank you, Zadzigi Volta. Mentally here forever. I have 
such a deep love for Paris. Truly one of the best cities in the world. I'm not ready to go home. I am, but I'm not at the same time and I'm like dreading it, but. What, okay, I wanna like spill some tea about last night. Just like what kick shows that fun. Got there, saw a bunch of really cool people arrive, which was really a fun experience. Noah Schnapp was there. I saw Suki Waterhouse, she's stunning. And Orion, Orion, Carlotta, she's a poet and YouTuber, really cool. Show was like 10 minutes long. Thanks. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be really long, but it's like really short and sweet. Not even 10 minutes. 10 minutes is like a stretch, it feels. Oh, what? Afterwards, Moya and I walked to Chateau Voltaire, where we had kind of our welcoming drinks. We got some drinks, sat outside. I met so many amazing people. So interesting. People from all over with different interests and stuff. It was really cool. That was a highlight. A couple hours later, we ate pretty late, and I don't remember much of that dinner, but it was so much fun. And eventually, we went to try to find a club, but I was like not in club attire. I just end up going home at like midnight or something. Perfect night. Okay, now I'm gonna journal. We grabbed some grocery store pad thai and chips and had a much needed Real Housewives night in bed. Our Pringle! La soeur que je me tapis, genre. The next day, we headed towards the third, where we knew there was a lot of thrifting to jet start our shopping day. <laughs> We grabbed ramen at Japanus beforehand, which was so delicious, but such a bad move so early in the morning. Mila and I were on a foodie kick, but miscalculated our meals a little bit. We often started out our days with big meals that made us feel kind of sick. It's okay though, because we walked it off afterwards, roaming the streets on the hunt for some good thrift finds. Ramen. Oh, Dieu, fois mes cheveux. A uh, questionable decision first thing in the morning, but it was really good. Now we're walking around the 11e arrondissement looking for vintage shops. No, it's a. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it's like Ted the Bear. Mila apparently looked at the weather. Apparently it was supposed to rain, so I'm walking around with this and it's sunny. What in temperature? She had one job to do this morning and she couldn't do it well. Oh my god. Kiss <gasps> Kiffa. Okay. He walked so close. He to me. was like, let me get my He five was on a mother mission. Let me get my five seconds of fame. I found some things at Kilo Shop, which is a buy the pound thrift store with such good pieces and so much selection. Grabbed some matcha at Umami. This spot had a really cute patio, but it was full, so Mila enjoyed her drink inside while I took mine to go. We explored the outskirts of the 11th, stopping in Nuovo, of course, a curated thrift store with such nice pieces. These are the pieces that I got. Price depends on how much it weighs. This little number. Beautiful. And then blue lingerie. It's so pretty. We're going to Villa Mikuna. South American cuisine for Central America. Lots of fresh items on the menu. It sounds amazing and vibe looks lovely. And yeah, we're just gonna walk there right now. Yay. Whipped out the red pants tonight. Last minute fit change because I was not feeling it as always, but anyway. Okay. Then you clean? For dinner, we tried Villa Mikuna, this Peruvian restaurant. I have mixed emotions about this place. The decor was super authentic and cozy, but the ambiance was kind of off. We started off with some cocktails. Mila loved hers, but mine was kind of grainy. <laughs> Friday 
for appetizers, we shared salmon tataki and shrimp tartare. The salmon had a sweet acidic dressing on it, which I didn't love, kind of fruity almost. It was also topped with pickled radishes, which I found overpowered the fish. The raw shrimp was good for the first few bites, but it was kind of slimy. I don't know, it just really wasn't for me. However, they stepped up their game for the main courses. Mila got grilled octopus, which was delicious, and I got a seafood rice dish, which was really tasty. For dessert, we got dulce de leche cakes and a coconut dulce de leche rice pudding type dessert. Both were incredible. We walked home as lightning struck all around us. On our last day, we grabbed lunch at Doki Doki Hand Roll Bar, which was insanity. We started out with artisanal iced teas, which were so invigorating, my type of caffeine. We then had cucumber salads, which were so refreshing. Our cook was so cute and made all the food in front of us before setting it down on our placemats, which was such a fun dining experience. Toro, yellowtail, and smoked to cook crab rolls, and holy app, they were all amazing. Wow. The Toro melted in my mouth. Yellowtail is just so light and yummy, and the light burnt aftertaste of the crab roll was insane. Dessert was coconut mochi. I was so pleasantly surprised by the chocolatey hard interior. The different textures at play balanced out perfectly. I would have eaten 10 in a row. Satiated, we headed to Musée de l'Orangerie. This was the most beautiful museum I have ever been in. The wall-long Monet paintings were mesmerizing and so impressive. Impressionism is my favorite. We spent a few hours sitting down, staring at them, and sharing earphones. We really just loved it here. Back at it again. As a post-museum pick-me-up, we grabbed matcha and an almond croissant to enjoy in the hotel while we awaited dinner. Went to l'orangerie. No, fuck all. <laughs> Any museum with lots of impressionist art is a favorite for me. Claude Monet, one of my faves. All his art is so pretty and peaceful. And what's so cool about l'orangerie is there's rooms where you're supposed to be silent. People aren't silent, which is annoying, but like a meditative Mama, Mama, area. The five most important lessons I taught my dog. Before that, we went to get some hand rolls at, was it Dico Dico? What? Fire. Your... We saw him literally make the hand roll in front of us and then like place it on Shove our plate. It up our throats. We're going to a Thai place tonight, which I'm excited for. After dinner, we're gonna go to the Eiffel Tower for our last night. Yeah. See it, twinkle. Very excited. It's sparkle. Don't wanna be a one man woman. Our 
last supper took place at Moon Mum and was extraordinary. This was my favorite meal in Paris, which is saying a lot as you have seen. I think it may have been in part because it was our last night and emotions were running high, but this was truly some of the best Thai food I have had in my life. Oh my god. We started out with some cucumber peach gin drinks. They were huge and so strong I was drunk by the second course. We had the most incredible red curry with sticky rice, some lobster, some shrimp dishes, and even imperial roll type pastries. Oh my god. Halfway through the meal, I got a lychee martini and Mila got an Aperol spritz, which were both so refreshing. Wanna impress me, show me real amour. No, schreib. No, so I'm not to get to the for dessert, we had tapioca pudding and mango and cake and sweet sticky rice. I had never eaten that kind of dessert before and it has become one of my favorite. Not to mention our server was the sweetest and we adored her. That dinner was freaking amazing. Now we're walking to the Eiffel Tower. Uh -huh. First night in Europe was spent here watching the Eiffel Tower sparkle. Last night, heading home tomorrow, and we're back. After eating, we metroed to the Eiffel Tower to watch it light up one last time. My very first night in Paris with my friends was spent watching the lights go off when the clock hit 10 o'clock. And my last night with Mila was spent doing the exact same thing. When I said coming back to Paris was a full circle moment, I truly meant it. What an incredible close to such a memorable trip throughout Europe. I could not have asked for a better partner to travel through France with. I love you, Mila. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in Copenhagen. Oh my god, get the fuck off. <laughs>